And what's up, you guys? It's your boy, SF Bay Area Sports Talk. Hope you're having an awesome day today. Unfortunately, the San Francisco Giants played another sloppy baseball game, dropping this one 9-1 to versus the rival Dodgers. And unfortunately for the Giants case, the first couple games of 2020 have not gotten off to the best of starts. And really for the Giants, they have not played sound fundamental baseball. You know, they in the first game, they made a lot of mental errors. In today's game, we saw a lot of physical errors. They made four errors. And also the pitching, we allowed a lot of walks. And when you're facing a deep lineup like this Dodgers lineup is up and down, you can't allow free passes like that and you know really it you're just setting yourself up for disaster and so you know today it wasn't the Giants day and you know it was a tough loss now left-handed pitcher Tyler Anderson got the start for the Giants and for him it was his first game as a Giant so you had to wonder you know did he maybe have some first game jitters with his new team well in the first inning he did labor in that first inning throwing over 25 plus pitches and so Tyler Anderson in this game just lasted into the second inning he lasted an inning and two-thirds probably could have gone three or four innings but you know with uh, obviously with all the starters uh, being kind of limited with the amount of pitches they're throwing um, Kapler uh, ended up just uh, ejecting him in that second inning so it wasn't a good one for Anderson but now let's take a look at the lone offensive highlight of this game for your Giants here, Jalen Davis, the young power hitting outfielder, showing his power off here, going oppo taco. This is a mighty impressive home run by the youngster. Now, this is something to get extremely excited about for us Giants fans, as I believe that J Jalen Davis has the ability to be a very special, talented player for many years to come. And the thing is, he has absolute immense power, which is something we haven't seen a lot of Giants over the years have, which is power. And I mean, I'm talking this guy has the ability. I think he can hit 30 plus home runs at Oracle Park. Maybe, you know, not saying he'll do that, you know, by next year already, but definitely has that capability, could be on the horizon to doing that. And so this is a very encouraging sign for him to get off to a good hot start in 2020. He did get called up in September last year, and he did struggle, you know, his first month called up, did swing and miss a lot, did have a lot of strikeouts, uh, but the power is there, you guys. And that's something to be extremely excited about. He can hit to all directions and for power, so you love to see it. And I'm extremely excited to see what Jalen Davis is going to do this year. So that is something to be extremely excited about moving forward. Now, also on the offense, you had Wilmer Flores picking up a couple base hits in this one, going two for four. He is hitting now 375 through two games in 2020. Brandon Crawford picked up a base hit in this one, going one for three. And so, again, the story of this game, unfortunately, uh, was the errors, the physical errors, the Giants having four errors in this one, and the pitching allowing two way too many walks eight walks in this one and the bullpen uh so yeah the bullpen gave up six runs in this one for earn so through the first two games the bullpen has really struggled and uh so you know which is kind of uncharacteristic like because this is a bullpen that i think is a very solid bullpen and so yeah you know the first couple of games have just kind of been out of sync so hopefully for the giants it's just kind of getting the rust out and then we'll be able to bounce back you and guys. so now let's look ahead to the future to the san francisco giants next game in the series they're going to be taking on the dodgers a one o'clock matinee tomorrow you guys so it's going to be a quick turnaround we're going to go to sleep and get another baseball game so this is always a good feeling when you do lose a game you get another game less than you know 15 14 hours 16 hours later you're already playing another game so you try to get back into that good feeling get back into that win column so it's going to be a good one tomorrow looking forward to it and i want to thank each and every one of you guys if you have made it all the way through to the end of this video be sure to smash up that thumbs up button I really appreciate the support a lot, you guys. It means the absolute world to me. And when you smash that thumbs up button, it really helps my video get engagement and be able to get more out there. So reach out there, you guys. So I appreciate it so much. And be sure to smash that subscriber button and smash the bell button if you have not done so already. 
if you would like to be notified when Giants post-game recaps, we're going to be coming to you right here at SF Barry Sports Talk for Giants post-game recaps all season, following every single regular season game and spring training game during spring training. And of course, we got free agent signings, trade reactions, all of that good, good stuff, you guys. All the good news coming for you for San Francisco Giants baseball. And so we got to be able to, sh we got to look past the these two games right now, the first couple games forget about it guys have short-term memory we'll get back out there try to get a win so let me know down in the comment section how are you feeling Giants fans uh has it was not the you know the first couple games we wanted to see our beloved Giants play but you know again we will bounce back want to get your guys thoughts and perspectives so let me know I love reading your comments down below and as always you guys until next time I'll see you guys again Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.